Welcome back to 30 at 6. Tonight we have Lily Jackson, who is Cecil TV's new staff member, on the other side of the camera to talk to us about the Trump administration's new policy to impose work requirements for SNAP beneficiaries. Lily, thanks so much for being here. I'm excited. So tell us what's going on. Okay, so I heard that Trump has signed, the Trump administration has signed a policy that could possibly affect 700,000 Americans mm -hmm. and 30,000 Marylanders. Wow. Now, the Secretary of Agriculture, Mr. Sonny Perdue, mm -hmm. he had a conference with the Trump administration asking them to enforce the intent of the SNAP benefits program. Mm -hmm. Now, the original intent of the SNAP benefits program was to take low-income families from dependency to independency. Mm -hmm. Mr. Perdue is saying, yeah, of course, we should help people, but we shouldn't help them internally. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if you have low income, you can apply for the SNAP benefits, aka food stamps, but a portion of these people are labeled as ABAWDs. What does that mean? ABA, ABAWD stands for Able Bodied Adults Without Dependents. Okay. These are people ranging from the ages of 18 to 49 mm -hmm. that do not have any dependents and they are not labeled as disabled. Okay, so from the Trump administration's perspective would be able-bodied and able to go get a job. Right, right. They, they look at them as they want them to re-enter the workforce or to, let's say, make, you know, uh, full-time benefits, mm -hmm. work, you know, a right. full-time shift or a part-time shift, but they're, they're thinking that they don't want to work or do anything. Right. And yeah. so the idea from, as they see it, is that if they, if these people are able to get jobs, then they're no longer dependent on, on the welfare right. system. He's saying that, yeah, exactly. Um, it's okay to lend someone a hand, mm -hmm. but don't let them, don't enable that to, don't enable them to make that a way of their life. Mm -hmm. And so what do, what is the problem with that, with this policy? Of course, there's always two sides to every, controver every controversy. Of course. So I decided to interview Mr. Michael J. Wilson mm -hmm. of Maryland Hunger Solutions. Now, Maryland Hunger Solutions is a philanthropic organization that's inspiring to in hunger from everybody in Maryland, but not just that, to improve their health and well-being hmm. as well. Okay. So Mr. Wilson is saying that most people on SNAP that can work, they do work. Mm -hmm. And 43% of people receiving SNAP have some form of income. Right. Now, he says too that low-income receiving people, they have low income paying jobs that mm -hmm. give them inconsistent scheduling, uh, insignificant amount of work hours, they can't necessarily help that. Right. So by pushing them into poverty to push them farther into the workforce mm -hmm. is not necessarily the answer. Right, so he's saying that by the taking benefits away from a person once they have a job um, is not is not a real solution to lift people out of poverty. Right, because see the ABA WDs, they have, they have specifications they mm -hmm. have to follow. So they have to work a minimum of 20 hours a week. Mm -hmm. If not, they can make that up through a school, a volunteer mm -hmm. training pro program, or, or a volunteer site. Okay. Now, a, if they don't make these requirements, they only can receive food stamps for three, three months in the three-year time frame. Okay. After that, they're exempt. Okay. Now, in the past, areas that were, had high unemployment rate, mm -hmm. they were able to get a waiver. Oh, okay, like an exemption from that rule. Okay. Right, but now the policy is the area has to be 20% above the national average unemployment rate. Mm, okay. So, oh, sorry, go on. No, you're fine, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, so as you said, this could impact how many Americans? 
700,000. And 30,000 Marylanders? Mm -hmm. Well, I look forward to hearing more about this. I think we should dive into what is the current policy and what is the proposed policy and and more into the research you've done and the interviews done, you've done with the people who are impacted by this. So I look forward to hearing more about it. Yes. Thanks. Thanks so much.